sirs and madams, welcome to the Faithful Studios. And today, our adventure takes us along a ride with the wizardry of fable. No, but in all reality, hey, how's it going today? I'm Tyson. Welcome to the Faithful Studios, faithfully bearded, and I just wanted to jump in real quick here and do a video because I got something y'all don't. <laughs> okay, some of us have it. Some of us are, are testing it out for the launch coming up. Whoop, whoop. So I'm going to tell you about Fable's new wash, their co-wash, maybe a scent, maybe something else they have going on. The wizard over at Fable, Colin, he's been stirring up a bunch of awesome stuff as of late. So stay tuned for the intro and we're going to get into this adventure right after the intro. It's adventure time. I can't talk like Colin. I'm not even gonna try. Well, I already did, so that's my attempt at it. But we're gonna talk about uh, Fable here for a little bit. And you know, something really cool with Fable is I've always kind of paid attention to them. I've always heard about them, but I've never really worked with them. And it wasn't until recently, maybe over the last month, that I kind of started interacting with the wizard himself uh, a little bit more. And I ended up getting all his scents and taking advantage of promos that he does and getting products in here and like everybody kept saying like you gotta try out Fable, you gotta try out Fable and so I finally did and I got all the scents that he has and then he came out with the mustache wax. I was like well I gotta try that. So we got that and then the co-wash launched and the alchemist so I wanted to get all that and try all that stuff out and then he's like well we're gonna do a wash and I'm like dude Come on, you keep coming off products draining my bank account. What is going on here, man? He's like, I'm just cooking up some stuff, bro. Just cooking up some stuff. The wizard in action in the wizard cave. So I had an opportunity to try out uh, his new beard wash. And guys, this launches uh, Monday on Command's Corner. And something cool that uh, Colin is doing, uh, don't hold me to this because I'm paraphrasing, I believe. Um, but this might be accurate. So 30% of the sales from Monday Night Drink Command's Corner, Colin's donating to the Command family to do their studio. So that's like really big uh, for a company to donate proceeds that are coming from somebody's live stream, right? So props to the wizard, props to Fable uh, for doing that. Absolutely love that. But we have the Scribe beard wash and like I said this launch is Monday night so I've got to try this out a couple times and I just want to tell you my experience with it so it says right on here it's got the cool scribe label the same character that you'd see on any of the scribe stuff um, it says a scribe it says apply to a wet beard leathered and rinse for a clean epic beard so this is a four ounce container it's it's like the the oval like thin wide it's got the little push top cap which I like these because it's nice while I'm sitting in the shower with one hand, boom. And this stuff, it's it's a little liquidy, if you can hear that, but that's okay. So you open it up. If you've ever tried the scribe before, it smells exactly the same. So right out of the bottle, it smells the same. It smells just like the classic scribe that you're experienced that you're used to getting. If you don't know what it is, he labels it as a, a coffee scent. And the thing to think about that, if you've never tried the Scribe, in my opinion, when I think of coffee, I think of like opening a bag of coffee beans and smelling it, right? That is not this, in my mind. In my mind, this is like, I go to Starbucks and I get a cappuccino or a, a mocha and, or a latte or something like that, and I smell that. It's got that creamy, it's, it's, 
it smells like a latte coffee um, with like cream in it. It's creamier scented. It's a really good smell. But you get that right away. And the ingredients are good in here. Um, water, I don't really know what that is, but there's water in here. I'm just kidding. Where's the humor? Um, so, and then when you pour this out, I'll just show you guys here. It's a little, it's little, it's liquid. Oh, wait. <laughs> I never undid the seal and the cap. I just, I went to do that in the shower. I'm like, oh, I forgot to take the seal off. So I just untwisted it and did it like this. So let me just pour a tiny little bit out here so you guys can see this. Here we go. We got a bubble to stop it. All right, so there you go. So it's like a, it's, it's like a, a gel, as you can see it running down my hand. Um, I would say it's more, it's like a standard shampoo, but it lathers up good. Um, I mean, as far as texture, it's, it's a little runny, but not anything like, it's not water, it's a little jelly. It's a little gel-ish, a little solidified, but not, it's not thick by any means. So, but when you get it like, like this, you can smell a little bit of the, the shampoo-ing, the cleaning properties, but nothing major, like the scribe scent, the coffee scent still over overwhelms it. Not overwhelms, overpowers, it, it's a good scent. So you do that, it's not a heavy stripping or anything like that, It's this is something where I honestly would use this every other day maybe, maybe every day. Um, I've used it two days in a row and it it's, doesn't feel stripping to me, it's like a light strip. Um, I still follow it with a co-wash just because um, I like having that extra clean, moisturizing uh, feel in my beard. So then you get over in a co-wash, right? So they have a co-wash. Here we go. Same thing. It is the Scribe co-wash. So you got the Scribe character, same type of label. Um, you got apply and shower, wait five minutes, rinse for a soft, clean beard. Let me be honest with you. Rinse for, let it sit for five minutes. If anybody does that, more power to you. I try to, but I don't have a timer in my shower. So I can't guarantee I do five minutes. I wash my beard first, I put my co-wash in, and then I do everything else, and then I wash my co-wash out. If that's five minutes, I don't know, maybe it's seven. But when you get this in your beard, it smells so good, my stomach starts grumbling, and I have to go get a coffee. So it's probably only in my beard for like two minutes because I needed a coffee so bad because it smells so good. I just, I start, I wanted to start licking my beard. I'm like, man, I don't know if this is good or not. Like the scent is amazing, but do I really want to be hungry and want to eat my beard after trying a scent in my beard? Oh, anyway, I washed that out. I got out of the shower, brushed it through, no real snarls or anything. Felt pretty good. Um, I put in some oil. I did uh, the Hero. So if you guys haven't seen the Hero, it's, uh, I guess it's like one of the newest scents right now. There's a new one launching uh, called the Gunslinger, but uh, the Hero is like his cologne uh, scented beard oil. And for me, for me, this changes in my hand and in my beard. So when you smell it out of the bottle, you're like, wow, that smells pretty good. That smells like a nice cologne. And then you get it in your hand and you start putting it in your beard and it sweetens up a little bit. And it's like a sweeter cologne to me. And I'm like, this is really good. Like this is something I would wear as a cologne. So I put that in, I put in the Hero Balm to match. And then I styled my beard as normal. And I was like, dang, my beard's looking pretty good. Is that this, this Fable? This Fable making my beard look good? And the brush brushed through nice. Um, so then I followed up, oh, I didn't even bring it down here. It's in the bathroom still with the mustache wax. So you can see my mustache is held in place. It's curling up a little bit, getting a little bit of handlebar going. The mustache wax that Fable has is unscented and it's a, it's a pretty strong wax. Like it's gonna do what you wanna do. It takes a little bit to get that emulsified up in the fingers, but it's gonna hold and it blends into the beard or the mustache real nice. And sometimes I even use it on the sides a little bit to hold some flyaways down. So, um, so that's that. Then, I mean, we could talk about a little bit more just about Fable in general. I don't want to ruin this because guess what? Normally we do weeks with companies and I just wanted to get this wash, to show you this wash because it's launching Monday. So I wanted to test it. I wanted to get a video out there to show you that you guys need this wash. And while you're there, get the co-wash. But you get cool little card like this in there. Uh, he handwrites a note on there for you. 
you get this his, his seal, his wax seal of approval here on an envelope, which is awesome. Fable also has uh, the Alchemist. So this is the Alchemist. Right now, the Alchemist is taking a little nap. It's taking a little break because there was some, some leaking going on. And so they're under repairs. But it's coming back soon. And the cool thing about the Alchemist is it's an empty bottle. And you wonder, well, how's that cool? Well, it's cool because you get these bottles right here. And these are like castor oil, coconut oil, um, and almond oil. Or her, something like that. I think it's almond oil. The sticker fell off. And then you get a bunch of these little guys and you get to make your own scent. And there's a little direction card that tells you how to do it. But how unique is that? That is super cool. So, what adventure are you gonna take with Fable? Do you take every adventure? Pick up all the scents, the mustache wax, the wash, the co-wash? Do you pick a character out of them? Because they all have different characters and different stories. Which story are you gonna be? And let me just give you a little inside info. The wizard might be working up something. And we might be doing a Fable Week coming up here. And maybe we'll just launch a new character. Or a new scent. Or both. Or maybe two characters. A male and a female character? What? I don't know. But whatever it is, we're working on something cool. We have some cool stuff here. It feels good. It smells oh so good. And this wash is a hit. Let me tell you, I have three of these co-washes. So that tells you what I think of the co-wash. I ordered one, liked it, went back and ordered more. Just got this co this wash. This is gonna be something that I'm gonna take with me like traveling. It's something that's not terribly stripping, but when I travel, this will be good to get my beard clean. And then uh, I'll follow with a co-wash or something. Plus it's a nice size, it's a little four ouncer. If you don't use it every day, it's gonna last the same as an eight ounce co-wash, right? That was a great idea. You make this a little bit smaller because you don't use it every day. You make this an eight ounce. When you are run out of this big one, you should be about out of the small one. Same time. So now you order more as a bundle. Perfect. That wizard. Always thinking wizardly thoughts. How great is that? So comment below on what adventure you've taken with Fable. What adventure you're going on next. And are you going to be on Command's Corner when this launches Monday night so you can get a hold of some? I think you should be. So comment below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up for the wizard. And until I talk to you guys next time, you have a blessed day. And wait, how does he say it? May your beard be... I'm going to have to follow up with you guys on that one. So pay attention for Fable Week and I'll get it down right. You sirs and madams, have a blessed day. God bless you all.